Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love this. Churches are packed again, man. Nobody cares about COVID anymore. Come on. Ooh. Who's had COVID already? Oh, wow. A few people. Who's got COVID right now? <laughs> this wasn't my dream, actually. In Anglican halls, this wasn't my dream. When I arrived there, I was so disappointed. I was like, oh, look at that magnificent historic building. It's going to be awesome. No, no, if you're in the shack over there, mate. <laughs> right over there next to the vegetable patch. That's where we're sticking you, mate. Don't get carried away. This is good, though, being in here. This is cool. This was nicer on the inside than it looks on the outside. I was like, oh, we're going to do the comedy show in the shack. Okay, then we'll see how they want to... Ah, this is lovely. It's nice. It's like an Anglican. They look a little bit harsh on the outside. <laughs> but on the inside, they're lovely. Oh, <laughs> This is nice, it's nice and genuine. People say, guys, one of my comic friends like, you're doing a comedy show at the Anglican Church? Do they laugh? <laughs> I'm like, well, we'll find out, okay? <laughs> and at first I was like, stuff that, I'm not going to church, stuff that, I'm not going to church. That's how I used to talk. Stuff that, I'm not going to church. This is one big word, by the way. Stuff that, I'm not going to church. <laughs> I'm not going to go to church, stuff that. I'm just going to maybe go to the shop, steal some stuff, go home, play the Mega Drive, and then maybe go throw some rocks off the overpass, you know, just have some fun, you know? <laughs> Isn't it quite a miracle that you actually understand what I'm talking about? I mean, it, it, if there's anyone here, English is their second language, you've got no idea what I'm saying right now. You know, I didn't know the Anglican church speaking other tongues, now I've got to wait for the interpretation. I don't know what's going on, man. Hey, I'm a pastor as well as this. And then some of you are thinking, hang on a minute, Nave. How could you be a pastor, brah? You didn't even finish high school. Well, that's easy. I'm a Baptist pastor. <laughs> we will take anybody. And I do get intimidated by like Hillsong Church. They're so cool, you know, with their worship albums. But did you know us Baptists, we released the worship album last year? Yeah, nobody else cared either. <laughs> Sold like three copies. But it's tough being a pastor today, man, because people are so sensitive. As a pastor, I've actually offended people before I've said a single word. I was doing a funeral once. This lady comes up to me, and she was angry at me. I hadn't said anything yet. She's like, um, um, Nathan, is it? Yeah, just to let you know, during the funeral, not all of the family believe in Jesus, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay? Just keep that in mind. We're not all, we don't all appreciate Jesus, okay? Just keep that in mind. <laughs> so I can't stop doing that voice. Just keep that in mind. Huh? What's going on? She's angry at me. And then she leaves. I'm like, what did I do? Oh, that's what I did. I was practicing my religious beliefs inside of my own church. <laughs> Will you ever forgive me? <laughs> Man, that's just weird. Like, you turn up somewhere, you want to change the whole place? Like, I go places I don't believe. I once got free tickets to the Australian Open. I don't believe in tennis. I didn't even know what I was looking at. <laughs> but I don't walk out onto the court and go to the umpire. Hey, listen, Emma. <laughs> just, if you could just keep in mind, not all of us like a tennis. Okay? <laughs> just... so if you could just keep that in mind. Okay? Personally, I, I prefer the MMA. So if you could... <laughs> If this Australian Open final could be settled with a mixed martial arts cage fight, that would, that would, prefer, I would suit that me better. Like if uh, what's his name was in like a leg lock, I'd find that more interesting. What's wrong with people? But anyway, because of what that lady said, I took it on board, and during the funeral, I mentioned Jesus more than I've ever mentioned Jesus at any funeral before. I was thinking, I wonder how many times I can say Jesus before this angry purple-haired lady's head explodes, you know. <laughs> but it's tough, man. People are sensitive nowadays. We did a letterbox drop inviting people to church. I cop an angry phone call from this guy. Mate, I'm not coming to your church, mate. I'm not coming. Whoa, okay. That's fine, mate. We've got plenty of overreacting nut jobs in our church already. <laughs> We're full up crazy, just move it along. 
Well, well, I don't appreciate having religion shoved down my throat. Like, mate, it's a pamphlet, buttercup. You're going to be okay. <laughs> well, I'm never coming to your church. Then click, the phone went dead. Because you know, I hung up on him. 